All right, time for my least favorite level. I don't understand how my favorite level and my least favorite level directly follow each other. Probably because I used to get stuck on this level all the time when I used to, when I was younger. So, uh, this is Sandopolis Zone. In case you are for some reason watching a video and blind or did not read the title because it lagged out or whatever. But um, yeah, as you can tell, this is kind of an Egyptian setting thing here. Uh, we'll just go up here. They knew I was coming, so they left spikes up there and all that. Knew I was going to take this top route. Totally okay. I'm just going to go ahead and walk into their little plan here. Whoa. What are you doing there? Okay. Um, I'm trying to remember where the fuck everything is in this level. Like, I don't remember shit. But yeah, they left spikes there because they knew I'd be here. So, just gotta fly underneath. And good to go. Got an extra life up here, too. All this neato stuff just for, you know, paying attention. So, we'll just go over here. And I don't think I can go that way, but that draws me down here, so that's okay, too. Okay, I don't really want to go all the way up again. We'll just kind of mix it up, I guess. Uh, kind of curious as to what's down here. So there's some, uh, some spikes. And I really don't feel like risking that, so. But yet I'll feel like running into that guy head first, no problem, that's okay. Right. Works for me. Okay, now Knuckles can glide up that thing, which is a leg up he has from uh, Sonic. Unfortunately, there's nothing up here, so they kind of just gypped us for nothing. I will, however, fly, because I can. And I'm pretty damn sure there's something down here, so... I'll just go ahead and sink. And would you look at that? There is. There's a... Uh, Ten rings and an invincibility thing, but I'm going to wait to pop this thing until uh, that thing pops up. So, yeah, there's this down here. This is bottom route. I wish there was something rewarding for the bottom route. Now, see how the camera doesn't pan down? That means there isn't anything down there, so I'm not even going to bother. Like, if I try it, I'll die. So, yeah, just not going to go there. I will, however, go up a little bit. Just to go on this thing, see what route this takes us down. I know this is taking an obscene amount of time. Oh, holy shit. I don't remember that being there. We'll go with it. Fair enough, I'm not one to complain when I find an emerald. And as you can see, we only got two more left anyway, so... Uh, can I... Just... Let me jump, you fuck. Okay. Emerald 6, let's go. Wow, dude, that one took me like seven, eight, something. Wow, just wow. It was pretty rage inducing. Rage inducing. Rage inducing. Almost as bad as the last one. But, uh, got a perfect on that one at least, which is nice. I, I get to walk out of that with a continue and a pretty high score. So, alright, I'm okay with that. And that makes six out of seven for our little run through. And we're only on the third stage, so should have done this on the first half. Don't know why I didn't, and why I was so insistent that we just go with it, or that we have a rigid uh, routine to it. But uh, well, whatever, we'll just keep going. It's not like the first boss of this guy is hard. That has nothing to do with anything. But the the first guy in this act really isn't that hard. Like you don't even, you you don't have to touch him. He, he kills himself if you do it right. Okay. We got this guy. Uh, no harm, no foul with that guy. I really don't care about what he does. That thing falls. I'll just do things my way and... Uh, do that. Alright. Keep going. There's so many fucking... Rivers of sand around here. I'm lucky if I find one in town. Like, I know Arizona is nothing like Egypt, but this is an over dramatized, uh, dramatized, dramatized, dramatized desert right here, you know. Okay, I think there's something up here. Hell yeah. Water shield, and water shield's kind of pointless because there's no 
that's kind of yeah, that's really ironic putting a water shield in the desert level. Just, wow, what are you guys thinking? Okay, go with it. Spring up again. Wow, wowie, 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 that sucks. Okay, well, at least we lost the shield, not our rings. Not like I really give a shit about my rings anyway, as long as I have one. Wow! What, really? Holy shit, that was cool. That was my first instinct just to fly, but that's the last one, so go with it. Wow, that one was uh, not as hard, but still pretty hard. So, that completes all of them. So, I got all the supers. I even got the perfect. There's two little rings at the end that you have to jump, but I remembered them right at the last second, so that was sweet. Uh, also got my score up pretty high, too, which is nice. Um, and a perfect run-through, I'll get around like 400, 500,000, which is pretty, pretty awesome as well. So, that completes the last one here. Gonna pan to the center. And, uh, give me a message. So, it's got this little sparkly deal. And now I can be Hyper Knuckles, assuming I have at least 50 rings. Is a criteria as well. Drains at the same rate. The only difference between this and, uh, Super Knuckles is that I cannot drown. So, uh, kind of stupid given the fact that we already passed Hydro City long ago. And I don't think there are any more levels with water, to be completely honest. There might be one that I'm neglecting to remember. Wow, you bitch. I didn't want to be hyper just yet, but okay. Okay, well, it's best not to be hyper at the... Wow! Holy fuck, nothing wants me to be hyper. Nothing is golden right now. Okay, so we're up here. And we got that douchebag right there ready to fuck you up. And we'll fly up here, just because I'm curious as to why they would do that that way. Wow, I don't think I can get back anymore. Maybe I can. Maybe... I don't know, my own curiosity may have screwed me up this time. Nope, we're good. Okay. Got that. The recording time is like 18 minutes right now, but I know we're barely like 5 minutes into it, which goes to show you how long I really take on the special stages. Kind of ridiculous. So, I've spent about 13, 12 minutes in special stages and about 6 recordings. And I think this is the boss right here. So, we'll save here, just because why not. Anyway, we got this gigantic tomb, tomb of, uh, Desukon. What? Yeah. Whatever. Anyway, there's a door. It opens. Freaking golem pops out. Closes the door behind him without any arms or anything like that. So, I'm just kind of waiting for him to, like, pop out. He's going to turn around and, like, jump in my direction. Wait, I see. I don't really care. I can stand here the whole time, so I think that's what, what I'm going to do. And I have Oreos, too. So, we'll just uh, we'll take one of those. I wish I could show you guys that I'm eating an Oreo, but... That's how low key this boss is. Can you just sit? And you wait for him to come. Look at that. I even finished my Oreo. And then you just jump over here for a little bit. And you fly under him right at the last second. Even Sonic could do that. It's stupid easy. So, about seven minutes in. God damn, those Oreos are really good right now. 17 lives, all the hypers. And we're going in that tomb. So. Dude, this level is harsh. Making the ghost pop out already. Anyway, this level has some weird lights to it. So, like, if the lights go out, then ghosts start attacking you. And you can never kill them, you can only just turn on the lights. Combined with the sand maze in the middle, it makes this level really evil. And I can't fit under there anymore, so now I gotta take a different route. Or flip a different switch. Normally I make it under that one, but... Whatever. So anyway, there's that thing which is kind of unavoidable. I mean, the ghosts are already out. 
which doesn't make any sense. I guess which kind of implies that Sonic came here before Knuckles, because Sonic is actually the one that busts open that thing where the ghosts are. So the fact that the ghosts were already in here is like, whoa, Sonic, what what do you think you're doing? No. But there's some weird... I hear switches, like... Okay, you're supposed to go this way, I think. You just fly to the top. Nothing. Okay. Go with it, I guess. Make sure to explore every cranny. And that was also another uh, switch thing. And see, it goes by that thing again, so... Oh, a light switch. I want that. I want that. Let me have it. Okay. Ghosts are gone for now, and I think there's a mosquito on my leg. That motherfucker. Okay. There was one of the switches that I was supposed to... Well, not, well, not switches, but I pushed those things so that way I could make it there in time, and uh, I didn't, so that kind of sucks. Anyway, that thing takes you onto the right track, I believe it is. I used to run out of time in this level just on that part right there. I did not know how the 3D mechanics in this level worked, and it was just ridiculous, and I hated it every second of it. But thinking about it, I can just... I can just fly right under the sink. Except not really. Wow! That was really lame. I fell all the way down. Okay, well... Um, I don't know what's down here, but I still have to finish the other half of my Oreo, so... Can we just, like... I need to find a light switch before my Oreo hardens. God damn it, and I forgot I'm super, too. I was totally gonna fly. Oh, well. I guess we'll just go with it. Oh, the other thing is he climbs, like, three times as fast now. So he, like, climbs as fast as a regular Knuckles runs. And I can't go up there? What the fuck, man? This is so pointless. Oh, there's this switch. Okay. That would have made sense to push it. But now I'm going to run out of rings, probably. Because I'm lame. And Oh, the other thing is uh, when he crashes into walls, he crushes all the enemies on screen. Which is pretty sweet. He doesn't really go noticeably fast. Like, not as fast as Hypersonic. But, uh... He still goes pretty fast. Okay, we're gonna cut out all attempts of that fucking sand thing, because that was ridiculous. And that first time going hyper just killed me. So, yeah. This is absolute... I dread doing this stage. I really do. I think... Can I go up this way without the sand rising? I might be able to. Let's check it out. So... If I can climb all the way up without depending on the sand, then... That works. Hey, good for me. I don't have to worry about the sand rushing me. That <laughs> sand rush. Dory user. Or excadrill, excuse me. But, uh, the sand is down there. Oh, what the hell? How did it get up here so quick? Whatever. Okay, point is, is we're gonna climb instead. We're just not gonna worry about anything down there, and we're just going to climb and fly and push this thing. And leave a little bit so I can jump, dash, get across, make sure I can beat the sand up here before the sand gets to me. So we'll push this. This way is surely the way out. And we'll get these two before the sand gets over here. And look at that, I'm at 49 rings. One below what I need for super. So I don't want super right now. Right now. Note that I said that. Anyway, I got that quick acting switch and now I got 52 rings. That guy tried to fuck me up. I say nope. Okay, that's what happens when I try to climb up, and I end up activating it on accident, because I forget what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, just keep running, just keep running. And I have a water shield underneath this badass exterior. I could have jumped all the I could have flown all the way across, I really don't care. I gotta keep going. 
I had to go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go faster, faster, f -f 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 faster. Oh, wait, that's the wrong line. That's the wrong dude. So, uh, we'll go this way. I don't even know where this way goes, but we're going this way. Okay, I think we're actually here almost, so. What the hell did that do? That did that. Oh, what the hell? How does this work? Okay, well, I have an electric shield now. For sure, I am going to lose my hyper, which is unfortunate. But I figured out how this works. So you do this, right? And, uh... Wait, no, I didn't figure it out at all. How the fuck? Can I just climb up? Oh, you gotta make the sand rise! Okay. So that way... Oh, so you can push the... Oh, sneaky bastards. You see what they did there? So you jump across, and you dash... No, wait, no. Okay, I got it. They make you do more than one step. This is incredible. Thinking in a Sonic game, how the fuck? Okay, we'll push it. Seven minutes into this fucking act. Are you serious? This episode's gonna be long as fuck. Okay, that pushes against it, so it can no longer go back. And for some reason, now it does. And I've lost all my rings, so that's pretty cool. Except for not really. And I gotta fly up here, dash through here, get through here, push this, and I hope the boss is down here. Yep, it is. And because I doubt my success at this, we'll save here. And we still have that stupid thing going on up there. Anyway, this is pretty easy, though. His background hand, you can't jump on. You just jump on the foreground one, hit it back, and then hit him once. I try to hit him twice, but it doesn't really end up working out unless you're super. And that was actually kind of a fluke, so. Wow, dude. And if you don't hurry up, he'll end up crushing you against the wall, which kind of sucks. But I uh, got this guy. And thankfully killed him in time. So, Sandopolis is done. What a bitch of a level, right? Save here. That's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. I forget what the next level is, but we will stay tuned for that. I think it might be, uh... Lava Reef? Maybe?